The second day of public hearings over native Hawaiian, Hawaiian self-governance once again has the federal government raising questions and in response, West Oahu residents raising their voices. KITV4's Paul Drews explains in our top story at 1030. Ever since Hawaii was illegally occupied, Hawaii has now turned into hell. It's turned into a hell. This time, it was residents of the Waianae Coast who lashed out at the representatives from the Department of the Interior and Justice over the injustice they feel. Department of Justice, you do investigate crimes, right? There's a crime that committed upon my people. The crowd not only had comments over the wrong they want righted, but had some questions about the federal government looking into being a part of the Native Hawaiian community's governing. Why do we need your federal recognition to know who we are and identify who we are? We are sovereign and independent. King Kamehameha III question is how does the Department of Interior have the right to come to our sovereign nation and dictate federal recognition under Indian law. The very vocal crowd was passionate about the plight of Native Hawaiians and protective of Hawaiian self-governance. And We have a government. Our government is established. We just need to have you, Kanakamoli, step up and take the responsibility to take care of the person in front of you, to the left, to the right, and behind you, and stand united. On this night, they stood together with tough talk for the federal government. Everybody making us scared, yeah? You should be scared. But this was no laughing matter. To make sure things did not get out of hand, security was stationed not only around the room, but also outside the building and even around the school. So far, there hasn't been a lot of vocal support in favor of Hawaiian self governing being under federal laws. Tonight, some wanted to make sure the federal government knew exactly how a number of Native Hawaiians feel about the proposals. My answer to every single one of your questions, for the record again, is no, 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 no. And you have no jurisdiction. This is a belligerent occupation. Go home. Leave us alone. Give us our assets back. Now, representatives from the federal government did try to explain some of the benefits of having a native Hawaiian government under federal law. Other native governments are allowed to include or exclude people, languages, even religion as they see fit. But some tonight pointed out they were more concerned about the federal government's record of mishandling Native American rights over the past 200 years. These public meetings will continue tomorrow in Kaneohe. Kenny?